Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about RAM and its types. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. But what does that mean? Technically, RAM is a short-term memory where data is stored temporarily, and it's one of the most basic elements of the computing. To put it simply, RAM is a temporary memory bank where your computer stores data it needs to retrieve quickly. For example, when the computer is rebooted, operating system and other files are reloaded into the RAM, usually from HDD or SDD. RAM is also called the main memory of the computer. It keeps data easily accessible, so processor can quickly find it without having to go into long-term storage devices to complete immediate processing tasks. That's why it's much faster than other kinds of storage devices such as hard drive, SDD or optical drive. Remember, RAM is volatile memory. That means data is retained in RAM as long as the computer is turned on. But it's lost when the computer is turned off. Let's go into a little more detail. All your documents, videos, games and programs are stored on your hard drive. Long-term memory of your computer where things permanently reside until you delete them. For instance, when you open a program such as Microsoft Word, data temporarily goes from your hard drive to the RAM, which then holds the data for CPU to process. And when you are done working with Microsoft Word and close the application, data still remains in the RAM until you shut down your computer. Let's take another example. When you play a game on your computer, all of the data that your computer's processor needs to play the game goes from hard drive to the RAM where processor can get to it quickly. That's why RAM prevents the processor from digging through the slower storage device like hard drive. Once you are done playing your game and you close it down, processor doesn't need that data anymore. So it replaces with the next task you give it. Here is an important point to understand. Unnecessary data on the RAM is deleted when it fills up and it is replaced with new data from the hard disk which is required for the next task all right now let me get your head around something really important ram can impact the performance of your device it slows down your computer if there is not enough space in the ram for example if your processor wants to load more data than your ram can handle it has to keep going back to the hard drive to load more data and by doing this extra work, it degrades the performance. To solve this issue, increase the amount of RAM and by doing so, more data can be loaded into the RAM and the result would be a faster performance. Alright, let's talk about the types of RAM. There are two main types of RAM, SRAM, Static Random Access Memory and DRAM dynamic random access memory. In SRAM, data is stored in transistors and uses low power constantly to keep data fresh. That's why it's called static, because it doesn't need to be refreshed. SRAM is used in cache memories, like the small files your CPU accesses all the time. Benefit of using SRAM is that it uses less power and data can be accessed more quickly, but it is expensive. In a DRAM, data is stored in capacitors and slowly discharges power. That's why it's called dynamic because the gradual energy declines, its power needs to be refreshed periodically to work properly. When the power is cut, electrical charges disappear and the RAM is cleared. Benefit of using DRAM, it is cheaper and offers better memory capacity but it's a bit slower when accessing data and consumes more power. Another type of RAM is SDRAM, Synchronous Dynamic RAM, which is a subset of DRAM. SDRAM has also capacitors like DRAM, but the difference between DRAM and SDRAM is the speed. DRAM runs slower than the system clock, while SDRAM connects RAM to the system clock. Syncing RAM to the system clock brings memory up to speed. That's why 
it runs faster than DRAM. Today the most common type of RAM is DDR, double data rate, which is a new technology. With DDR data is sent twice during each clock cycle, so you get speeds that are twice as fast and it allows simultaneous multiple file transfers. There are various iterations including DDR1, 2, 3, 4 and even DDR5. DDR2 allows even more data to be sent during these two data delivery periods. Each new generation of DDR has brought improved data throughput speeds and reduced power consumption. The latest version of DDR5 can achieve data rates up to 6.4 gigabits per second, but it is very expensive. The most commonly used RAM is still DDR4, which also comes in multiple types and speeds. Generally, it provides above 2400 MHz speeds. If you want to get maximum performance out of your memory, you can get higher clocked RAM ranging from 3200 MHz up to 5000 MHz. There is also a VRAM, Video Random Access Memory, which is used in graphics cards to process graphical data during gaming, video editing or other graphics heavy activities. Video RAM is even faster than normal memory, but it usually comes in the form of GDDR, Graphics Double Data Rate which is a specific type of memory optimized for graphics performance. The latest version of VRAM is GDDR6. It can achieve data rates up to 16 gigabits per second. Let's wrap it up. The more RAM your computer has, the faster it runs. Every open application consumes RAM. When you buy a computer, you have several options of RAM capacity like 4GB, 8GB, 16GB, 32GB, 64GB and 128GB. It's all up to you. If you have money, go for the big one. Alright, this was all about today's video. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button.